Hi folks, my name is Tatiana. Welcome to my YouTube channel, The Ethereal Entertainer. Today we're going to be getting into all astrological signs, sun, moon, and rising placements, your tarot cards for the month of November of 2022. We're going to get into what is in store for November. That's the overall question that I've asked. What message the universe has for all of us for your sun, moon, and rising placements. So do keep in mind that we do have different placements. So if you have a Aquarius sun and a Leo moon and a Sagittarius rising, please feel free to shuffle through my videos to get your own personalized three card spread so that you can get the most out of this reading. And feel free to ask me any questions down below in the comments about what your cards mean or maybe what they mean in juxtaposition to each other because the cards do mean different things when they are next to other cards. So yeah, let's talk tarot. Let's, let's talk uh, metaphysical. Let's talk spiritual. Whatever you want to call it. I like to just say let's talk tarot. But so we are going to be featuring this beautiful lovely amethyst geode to just bring some intuitive uh, calming energies to help with my reading i do like to have crystals around i also like to of course sage my deck before i use it to ensure that i'm ridding of it any is residual energies that may be from any past readings but this geode is so gorgeous look at that <laughs> And I am also featuring some bracelets made by yours truly. I have an evil eye on the first bracelet and then this bracelet here is a matte crackle quartz which is also a very protective stone known for bringing balance to our yin and yang energies. You can find this on my Etsy shop really soon so stay on the lookout for that. They are elastic, stretchy, so um, yeah t take a look at those when you get a chance. Check out my Etsy shop and Let's get into it. All right, Virgo, let's talk. So your sun placement, we have the Hierophant card in reverse. So the Hierophant is a learned traditional individual who teaches others the ways of tradition and is very orthodox in their approach of things. So when you see the Hierophant in the upright position, we're talking about conformity and sticking to what works, um, the tried and true method of things. But when we see it in the upright, I mean the upside down position, we're talking about challenging those traditional beliefs, choosing to go our own personal way, choosing to find information within ourselves rather than the traditional or orthodox way of thinking and believing. So I think this is kind of on point for Virgos. We, we like to trend set. We like to trailblaze. And the Hierophant in reverse is saying that you have the answers within you, that you are your own hierophant you are your own teacher you are your own individual who can learn and teach you are self-sufficient in that way so it may be time to take a look at things that maybe you've been looking at things in a traditional way maybe the you've been following the way other people have done things and the hierophant in reverse is saying that you will find more success and more in what you can achieve if you are willing to open your mind to allowing yourself to do things your own way so this is a very good card this is a very positive card honestly because it's saying Trust yourself. Trust in the information you hold within yourself because it's valuable and that it will definitely be to your benefit if you do. So moving on to the moon card, I mean moon card, the moon placement, your card <laughs> for Virgo is the five of swords in reverse. So the five of swords, I always see this as the 
apologetic card. This is a card where... Was this battle worth fighting for? Were things said that shouldn't have been said? Um, it's, it's definitely one of those cards where it's like, mm, maybe there are some things that should not have been, you know, put out there. So the thing is, is when it's in the upright position, it's indicative of the conflict of the just disconnect, just things not quite coming to an understanding and just not being willing to let your guard down, not willing to compromise. But when you see it in the reverse position, it's saying that the opposite of that. So that that is needed, that reconciliation, that willingness to let go of resentment or of words or actions that were not of our best selves, <laughs> so to speak. So if we see, when we see this five of five of uh, swords card in this reverse position, it's saying that it might be time to consider forgiveness. It may be time to consider that maybe we were wrong. Maybe we were wronged. And maybe that's why we're not able to get past the situation is because there needs to be some words had where there's acknowledgement of what happened what happened and who did what and where were those words coming from where were those action, actions coming from was it genuinely because this person wronged you or that person did something that upset you or was it coming from a deeper rooted place of hurt or disappointment pain of some of some some sort so that five of swords in reverse is a very self-reflective, reflective of our situation type of card to take a step back and really take a look. Was all of that really needed? Was all of that really necessary? And is it worth the cost? Is it worth the price of whether it be losing a relationship with that person, losing contact with that person, losing trust with that person? You know, because again, you know, going into the swords, the swords has to do with the tongue, what we say, what comes out of our mouth. When I see the swords, I always think the the tongue is mightier than the sword, right? The pen is might, mightier than the sword. And that's what we say, what we communicate. So do keep that in mind. This is definitely pertaining to communicative type of situations. So moving on to our rising placement, we have the four of cups in reverse. So the four of cups card has to do with our overall mindset of things, how we're taking things into perspective. And the Four of Cups in the upright position has to do with, I'm not really feeling what I got right here and kind of sucks, you know what I mean? But then you don't really, because you're so, you know, over overly disappointed with your circumstances, you don't realize that there's another cup you know, that's coming out of the clouds, out of the blue, out of nowhere. So when we see this card, it's saying in, in this uh, upside down position that it may be time to reflect and take a look and maybe try to see the bigger picture. We're looking in front of us in this picture, right? But it may be time for us to think about looking behind us and maybe time to look around us and see what is available and do that before we come back to the situation and decide to make a decision. Are, is it really that that bad? Is it really that, that disappointing? You know, these are questions that we have to ask ourselves sometimes because we have our expectations that we set for ourselves and, and for things that we want to have, right? And, you know, when those expectations aren't met, it can be a very visceral feeling, can be a very upsetting feeling. But it may be time to reflect on those feelings and figure out if that is genuine, if we really need to have that reaction or if we need a change in our perspective. So... Thank you so much for listening and for watching. I hope that you found these readings to be very insightful and helpful for you. Please 
feel free to subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you can get more of these from me on a monthly basis. Also, I do want to note that if you know your Sun, Moon, and Rising placement or you're willing to find out your Sun, Moon, and Rising placement, you can feel free to shuffle through my other videos and get your own personalized three card spread for the month of November of 2022. Also, I love to talk back. I love to comment. So please feel free to comment, interact with me. I have, if you have any questions or just any comments, anything you want to say, I would love to hear from you. But again, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you back really soon. Bye.